it's been 10 years. One event, it happened in uh, Guangdong, Shaoguan, in a toy factory. Around a few hundred Uyghur was working there as cheap labor, and they were attacked by Chinese mob, and some of Uyghur workers were beaten to death. And this was going wild in the internet, and every Uyghur was seeing, watching that uh, video, and there was some was crying, some was anger, some frustration, desperation. And that event triggered the 5th July Urimchi massacre. The Chinese government denied any request, didn't respond to the Uyghur students' request uh, for dialogue. Instead, they used paramilitary police to crack down, to crush the Uyghur demonstrations, the students. They started to arrest some students, beating the students. So the people get angry and more frustrated, and they were fighting back. Then at night, around 9 o'clock, they shut down all the electricity, and the whole city was in the dark and the military started to shoot a Uyghur student and shoot anyone on the street if they are Uyghur. And the whole city was under the siege. And the military was going neighborhood by neighborhood, arresting and beating and shooting the Uyghur. That was a watershed event in the Uyghur's history. With this 5th July massacre, the Chinese government actually told all the Uyghurs, you are not us, you are Uyghur. If you are still saying I'm a Uyghur and you have a Uyghur name or you have a Uyghur uh, identity from the language or from your tradition or from your culture, you are not us. That's the big signal to the Uyghur.